wherever you have a network of people, no limitations to how you can connect to other people, mm -hmm. once you have that, then you have a kind of bottom-up relationship that starts uh, between those people in a network. And those relationships are peer-to-peer -peer networks. You get three different things with that. You get peer production. Think of Linux, think, think of Wikipedia. The second thing is, well, how do they actually manage that? Given that they're doing all those things, how do they manage those relationships? I call that peer governance. And the third thing is peer property. How do you protect it from individual appropriation or corporate appropriation? The thing is, as soon as you reach a certain limit, 150 people, this has actually been studied, it's called a Dunbar number. It's mm -hmm. kind of a limit to how many relations people can manage. As soon as you go beyond that, so a society becomes more complex, you have hierarchy. I think it's incorrect to say that you know, there is no hierarchy peer to peer. There's a hierarchy of engagement and there's a hierarchy of experience. But then within the team, it's really a meritocracy. It's, you know, okay, for this kind of project, you're the best programmer, you're the best creative guy. And then hierarchy becomes something very fluid. It has a, actually nothing to do with Communism, as understood, being the Soviet Union, or you know, those centralized systems are, are the complete opposite of peer to peer. It has something to do with the ideal that eventually, you know, what Marx said, each gives according to his ability and each gets on the basis of, of need. You volunteer for the project and you make it common, and then anybody can use it. If you join a, a project like Wikipedia, you give a little bit, but you get everything that everybody's doing. There's also a way in which giving is receiving, like if you're in a family and you know, with your children, you're not asking yourself, what am I getting back? Because actually the mere fact of giving is what gives you the pleasure. Yeah, well, I've been in the corporate world and one of the reasons I quit is that I, I think that you know, the working relationships today have become dysfunctional. I think there is a spiritual element, how you relate to others. In the market, subject to object. It's an impersonal relationship, you buy something, yeah, of course you say hello and stuff, but it's a neutral thing. The ideal of peer-to-peer -peer is that you have this notion of peers, dealing with another subject, another person. When you then apply it in a general way, then it's about treating nature as a partner. Producers of you, what you consume, treating them as a partner. Like like in fair trade. Any traditional society has some common area where everybody can use the wood, get the herbs, whatever. In the capitalist system in the 16th century, what was called the enclosures, where these common areas are abandoned and, and privatized. But then you see the workers, they, they create mutualities, share the risk of living together. Everybody puts in, but if you seek a base of need, you can take out, right? As our society evolves from less and less material to more and more immaterial, Production. We get more and more for benefit production and less and less for profit production. It's more efficient than the old way of doing things. It changes your whole outlook on life. You work based out of interest and passion so that whatever you are doing will always be almost optimal. The peer production and the market are codependent on each other. I mean, the market is more and more dependent on social innovation. And as a peer producer, you, are, you have to go regularly back to the market to make money. So if you engage, in free software production as compared to just buying it from a major multinational, you're learning a lot. So you're creating this intellectual capital in your own country mm -hmm. that you're not creating if you're just you know, buying another shelf product. This is something that will change the world. So I want all those movements and people who are doing it to realize that they're not alone. Let's have a world where people can be peers. I think that's exciting. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, James. <laughs> Bye.